So I have these two really nice old lighters that I found. Well, uh, one of them I found, the other one was in the house the whole time, but I just didn't know. I found one of them in the scrappy place, or the scrap place I always mention in videos. It's a very good place to go. And the other one was belonged to my brother, but I'm not so sure if he wants it. Now, uh, I am against smoking, but these lighters just happen to look very nice, and I think they would be a nice thing to record or make a video about for my YouTube channel, because, well, they just look very nice. I will start off with the worst condition one. I only have two lighters, I don't necessarily uh, collect them, but... This one, I'm trying to... Uh, yeah, there we go. It says Brother Light on it there. And then on the bottom, it says Gas Brother Light and has a logo. And it says Japan up there, by where you put in the flint. This one is very broken. So this one is a gas lighter, unlike the other one, which is an oil lighter. It's missing the piece here that's supposed to like squirt up the gas. And it doesn't have flint in it anymore. And I'm sure, of course, you could see that because it's not sparking. It's missing the little screw there to cover up the thing where you put in the gas. But it looks very nice, in my opinion. You know, I like this kind of texture to it. It looks very streamlined you know, like early 50s style to it, so I decided to get it. I actually saw this in the scrappy place before, but I didn't get it. And then about three days later, I was recommended a video by this restoration channel where they restored this 1930s lighter, and I thought it looked kind of fun, so I would try it myself. Hopefully I can actually manage to find the parts that are missing for it, and I can restore this one. The other one is actually in the box. The box says Japan on it there. It has cardboard on the bottom, a little bit of a stain there, unfortunately. And some kind of fake leather looking lid to the box. Unfortunately, the box is kind of broken, but I mean, it's old, so even just having the box in the first place is kind of cool. This one is a more souvenir type one. This one actually has flint in it. So there it has Ireland and a bunch of counties written down and the provinces on the sides. And there it has a Celtic cross. It says Is this? Oh, well, that's kind of hard to see. Well, it says Orbit there, and on the bottom it says Orbit, made in Japan, and then in Irish it says made in Japan as well. Well, actually it says from the land of Japan. So there's the screw to access the cotton, because this is an oil one, unlike the other one. And there's the screw to access the flint, which obviously as you just saw, it does have flint. Here's the lid of the box with that weird fake leather texture. And here's the other part of the box. I would like to fix that though. If I could get like a white paper tape, stick a piece in both corners there would fix it. It would prevent it from being damaged any further, at least. And I would hope to be able to fix this one at some point. Anyway, um... I do have another thing that I got from the scrap place but it has a very, very unfortunate story, so I can't really make a video about it anymore, so I might as well just show it now. It 
it was uh, this Sanyo cassette player radio. Uh, unfortunately, I can no longer use the cassette player part of it. I can still use the radio part of it, that's fine. But I got this very, very rare tape, which I shall show in a future video. And I put it in this to test it out. And this thing decided to eat the tape, which obviously means that this thing is breaking. So in order to get the tape out, we kind of had to break this, which is a bit unfortunate really, because I do quite like the look of it. I mean, it's not a really good cassette player, it just looks nice. So now when I press the button, nothing. It doesn't stay down because the spring broke. There's like this little uh, hook shaped spring on the inside and that came loose when we opened it. So shame really. Although I do quite like how it looks for the 80s. Anyways, that's all for this video. I will probably show like uh, those cassettes that I found recently. I'm trying to think of other things I could possibly show. Because I did find a bunch of things recently. I mean, some things don't really need a video to be made about them. I got a few die cast actually. That might be nice to show. I didn't get that much technology recently. I mean, like, uh, I have this pair of headphones. I think it would be nice to show, although I can't really demonstrate them, of course, because it's a video. Um, yeah, I think that's basically it. I mean, like, there's a bunch of things that I haven't shown that are really just too big to show. Actually, you know what? I have this 1970... Uh, Seven, I think action man motorcycle and it's really really big and I really want to show up because it's really nice but it's just so big that I don't think I'll be able to which is a bit of a shame but anyways yeah uh, that's it for this video about two vintage lighters from the 50s made in Japan